Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Social Flow's New York headquarters. I'm here with CEO Jim Anderson again. And last week we talked about uh, how big media companies were going to dominate Facebook Live. And as promised, today we're going to talk about how to make money from Facebook Live. So take it away, Jim. Yeah, excellent. So making money from Facebook Live, two key ways you can go about doing that. Number one, native advertising. Media companies know how to do that. Advertiser comes, commissions a piece, trying to advance their brand objectives, your story taking, telling capabilities mesh with what they're trying to do. And you basically extend what you're already doing with native advertising into Facebook Live. So that's uh, step number one, or way number one. Number two is sponsored editorial, and we work a lot on sponsored editorial, uh, you know, on things other than just video, but extending this to video, if you're going to be doing a Facebook Live around something political or cooking or whatever it is that your content is, why can you not get your advertiser relationships to extend to that editorial and have them sponsor, especially if it's your high-performing content? So just to clarify again, because I know some people like myself will get this mixed up. Native is you're working with a, you're working with a, a, an ad firm or marketing firm. It's for them or it's them in mind. They have they have control over the message or at least some control. And this sponsored editorial is just something you know. I Mark White came up with my own content. I'm putting it out there. I want to get a sponsor because I know I'm going to get a ton of hits. Right? Is yeah. That, yeah. I well, right? I mean, if you do a Google search for native advertising, I mean, you can spend hours and hours trying to decipher all the native advertising. Here's the easiest way from from my perspective to think about it. Native advertising. You're saying I, is, got, I got it wrong. <laughs> native advertising is done on behalf of the advertiser. It's content that's commissioned by and created for the advertiser's benefit. Hopefully, it's entertaining and useful to the audience as well. But the primary customer for native is the advertiser because they're the ones that are paying for it to be created. Editorial, of course, you're creating for the, the end user. And of course, you want to be able to have that useful to an advertiser as well. But the primary purpose, the primary creation uh, is for the audience. And so that's the, the key difference between the native and the sponsored editorial. And that applies to video as well. I understood. I don't think I explained it as well as you did. OK, so it sounds like a no-brainer. So, so how do we make money? Yeah, get me to that point. What yeah, so uh, let's let's talk about some arithmetic here, and and these are all just illustrative numbers here. So uh, you know, many of our our customers have pages that are far bigger than a million fans, but a million is a nice, easy number to remember. I got a million fans on my Facebook page. I could get somewhere on the order of a hundred thousand views from Facebook Live. We're seeing performance that can be that good, right? I mean, it's it, that's a, a pretty amazing amount of views on that number of fans. But we're seeing people get some really phenomenal reach. And again, why are we talking about Facebook Live? Is because it's getting such great reach out there. And it's getting so much good reach. We talked about this last week. This is because of the algorithm and it's favoring the content. And it's high up in your feed. Yeah, Facebook is promoting. Facebook wants people to do, to be creating live content, and they're rewarding people who are doing that by giving them excellent reach and great videos. So this, this number is no accident. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not an accident it's, at all. It's yeah. getting a helping shot. Yeah, like. yeah, and it's illustrative, of course. There's no guarantee that if you particularly do a video, you're going to get exactly 100,000 views. I mean, that can vary widely. And by the way, some of that comes live, and then a whole bunch of it comes after the fact as well. So you, you create the video live, but it can live on after that. So 100,000 views is an illustrative number here for somebody who has maybe a million fans. OK, so you and I were looking earlier. We, we scrolled through some of uh, our clients' feeds. We came up on one example. Talk about this one example we have. Yeah, so t uh, well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to finish the, the arithmetic here, the five cents, because that, that number is what ends up with this $5,000 right. per, per, for a native video. And again, a very illustrative. Can your, your content support a five cent per view uh, a premium from yeah. an advertiser? Well, it depends, right? It depends on your advertiser. It depends on the content. But we've seen numbers like that. And, and the other place where you'll see numbers like that is on Snapchat. Uh, so we're talking about Facebook Live now. But people are used to paying per video uh, prices somewhere in that range. So if you've got good content and a good advertiser relationship, you know, sort of five thousand dollars for a video is not an unreasonable number. And times this by you know, four or five videos a day, or yeah. maybe more. Times. Twenty working days in a month, exactly. I mean, you you could get up into a hundred thousand dollars in a month in terms of revenue from this, you know, pretty easily with this arithmetic. And not not to toot our own horn, but also remembering from last week too. This number also is helped out by posting on Sundays, which we know people don't do enough of. That's exactly right, yeah. And so you get the benefit of Facebook Live getting the premium reach that we've talked about. And then if you if you use sort of smart posting strategies and, and technology, then you know you do, do it on Sunday, you're going to have a, a lot less competition. That's okay. exactly right. So now let me go on. You asked the question here about let's talk about the, the example. This is an example from Reuters, who's a customer of ours. And you see right here, actually, the thing we want to point out here is this, this overlay. This is showing you that they're actually not just 
doing this on an iPhone. I mean, it's interesting. We're shooting this on an iPhone right now, and it's kind of amazing that we can take somebody's iPhone, pop it in a tripod, and get something that's a pretty high-quality broadcast. But if you want to take this to the next level, and if you're a professional media company, you got to move beyond the iPhone or the Android device uh, you're saying, filming. You're saying we have to get more high-tech? Like we need to get like more high-tech. Yeah, we need to get some cameras and things like that, and that's what allows you to do things like this overlay. And right now, this is the Reuters overlay, but you can imagine this could be uh, presented by, sponsored by, you know, there's other kinds of things that you can do there, and this is a, just a great illustration of how professional media companies are already starting to adapt to Facebook Live. Okay, so we've talked about, um, we talked about the fact that Facebook is favoring this stuff. We talked about the fact you can make real money. Um, so it seems like a no-brainer. Why is everyone doing it? Well, there's a few challenges here. And so you, you've really got to know the game here. And this is all brand new. So everybody's in a process of discovery and, and sorting out, okay, how is it I, I do this? And there's at least four different things I want to talk about about what you need to know if you want to get into this game. So number one here is uh, you've got to actually make it work. I talked about the iPhone, Android device, professional camera. If I'm going to encode, I have to route it into my encoder. I have to put the overlay. There's a, there's a technology component. And then, by the way, I've actually got to get it distributed out to Facebook as well. So uh, you know, there's, a, there's a few things that have to stitch together that fall in the video realm. Pro professional video uh, you know, content producers, that's relatively trivial to them. But if you're, say, a magazine media company, a newspaper, and you don't have a long history in video, some of this may not be right in the sweet spot of the equipment and the capabilities you have in house. So this sounds quite complicated in essence. Well, it, it can be, yeah, and, and that's Unless part of where we, right. you know, come in, and that's what Social Flow does, obviously, right. is, is not for us, you, but yeah. for, <laughs> for somebody who doesn't necessarily do this. So you've got to actually make the mechanics of it work. So right. that that's step number one. Uh, but that's not it. There is this Facebook branded content policy. So I talked about image overlays and things like that. There are some policies, and Facebook has got a, a fairly specific set of requirements and restrictions. And if you violate those policies, you can get your page, your posts blocked, your even your page theoretically blocked. And so what you don't want to do is stumble into this and start experimenting with your uh, million fan page and right. do something that somehow gets you blocked and unable to post uh, you know, further content because you violated Facebook's content policy. This is like where you see videos and they say, do not try this at home. Yes, it, it, that's <laughs> exactly. You, if you're not familiar with this policy, you definitely should be. And, and of course, we spend quite a bit of time you know, making sure we understand the nuances of the branded content policy. Okay, other hurdles. Yeah, so a couple of other hurdles. Um, so, of course, it's got to work for the advertiser, right? I mean, ultimately, we're talking about monetization and generating revenue from advertisers, well, you've got to make sure that it actually fits with the advertiser objectives. And that's obviously going to vary depending on the type of advertiser and depending on the type of, of publisher or media company that you are. You obviously know your advertiser relationship, so what we have to do is work through and make sure that we've structured this in a way that fits within the overall relationship that we can deliver uh, and that you can deliver and that the platform can deliver on the capabilities that the advertiser wants, as well as the technically feasible and compliant with the, the brand new content. Because also. also I assume, I'm guessing, Live video is it's new for advertisers as well. It's not like it they, it's not like they've been doing this for years. That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean they've they've been doing video and say television for years. Right. So there's plenty of metrics out there, but that that actually leads to this uh, next thing here, which is can you measure it? Right. I'm ultimately any kind of advertising, if you can't measure it and then prove it back to the advertiser, prove the value back to the advertiser, you can't tell them it did well. Yeah, you just can't tell them it did well, right? And again, we're talking about a whole new thing. All of the metrics and the analytics and the reporting had not been built out or sort of had a chance to mature over months, quarters, or years. And so this is all fairly new territory. And so, again, if you're stitching together, everybody's interested in, in Facebook Live and in live video in general, how do we actually package it up to the advertisers, including measurement? I mean, that's a, that's a key piece okay. as well. And then there's one last thing uh, that I think is important to, to remember is, you know, Facebook is making changes too. There were just some that were announced today that continue to evolve the platform, the applications, uh, the, the policies, and things like that. So what you really need is a, is a partner who spends essentially all day every day working on these kinds of things and can help you navigate the nuances as Facebook, or, or as we extend this conversation, say, over to Twitter and Periscope, or, or even to Snapchat and other platforms like that, you, you need somebody who spends you know full time uh, navigating these platforms and the different nuances. Yeah, I feel like I, I read about as much as I can on all the changes every day and the new the new things that we offer, and it, it's it's a lot to keep up with. I mean, it's yeah, it's an awful lot. I tell people I, I deal with this all day every day, and sometimes I have a hard time keeping up with it. So yeah, if you have a job that doesn't require you to spend uh, your time on this every single day, you're going to have a really hard time keeping. Up. All right, so this this is all obviously great information. If so, if, if people, companies that we deal with or we don't deal with, we want to deal with, if they're and we hopefully we explain a lot to them, but if they want to do this, 
they should call us. They should email us. Um, I mean, that, that's basically it, right? I mean, we, we're yeah. we're talking to people every day, but if anyone has any questions, we're happy to answer them. And we'll you know we'll obviously be in touch. Yeah, exactly. And monetization is a key element. We've talked about monetization in several of these Facebook Live videos. Um, so as you're thinking about these new changes, the reason people are so interested in Facebook Live again is the reach and the views that you get from it are really disproportionate to any other type of content you can do. So uh, the next logical step is you've got to be able to figure out how to monetize it. If you can't monetize it, then it it's ultimately hasn't been help your business. Yeah, I was going to say just doing Facebook Live, Facebook Live sense is, is yeah. it's only going to get you so far, and, right. and that's not very far. Okay, fantastic. This was great. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, we'll be back same time next week, and um, hope you have a good week. Thanks very much.